factoring quadratics. Oh God, oh God. This one's the Mojada type. Which type? The type that doesn't have a leading coefficient one. So I go, in here, let's use a variety of different methods. I see this is four dub squared plus 15 dub plus nine, fine. On this one, let's use the A. C method, that's where I take the product of the leading and the lagging. I go my four times my nine, fine. And, ooh, what is four times nine? 36. And then I break it down. Oh, oh, that's one and 36. That's two and 18. That's three and 12. I'm looking for the factors of 36. Because that product was positive, they need to add to be 15. Looks like I have three and 12. So I can stop my factorization. So then I go and I rewrite that four dub squared. And then the signs are the same and they're both positive, positive, so that's a plus three dub, plus 12 dub, and then that's plus that nine, fine. What did we do? Nothing, whoa. We rewrote 15 dub as three and 12 dub, then we go and we factor by grouping. I take out the common factor, dub be it, and then in it, I have a four dub plus three. Oh. So then I factor out the common factor. Looks like it's gonna be a three. A positive three, and then we have four dub plus three left on the inside. And we see we can continue on in our factorization. I have a four dub to the third and I can factor it out. Four dub plus three. When I said four dub to the third, I meant four dub plus three. All right, now that we have gotten that out of the way, we can write the leftovers right there. So that's a dub plus a three. And then we are done. Box and flower. We have attained fully factored form. Let's come on up over here. Whoa. So on, on this one, I'm looking for the factors of two and nine that had to be nine. Whoa. Let's use the guess and check method. If I had two, that's one and two. If I had nine, that's one and nine and three and three. We're looking for combinations of these guys that are gonna add up to be nine. Oh, that's six and three. This method is much faster, but it requires thinking. And the AC method gonna work every time and no thinking. This requires thinking. We needed to look at the factors of these guys that we're gonna add to be nine. So six plus three is nine. The X's come from here. The constants come from there. So then it's all, it's all, it's all. I gotta have that one and that two from the X's. And then from my constants, I have that Whoop. Then for my constants, I have that three and that three. So then there's a three and a three. That says the signs are the same and they're both negative, negative, negative. And then what? That's it. Yeah. Box and flower. So then down here, whoa, whoa there. So we're down there and we see that we have a negative out there and that makes us uncomfortable. So I pull out a minus sign to make it look a little bit more like what you've been factoring before. So I pull that minus sign out there and I have a 5x squared plus, because it's going to change all the signs on the inside, x minus 6. It's that minus change all the signs on the inside. Now, we're looking for the factors of 6 and 5 that subtract to be 1, and some of you guys are like 6 and 5. So let's use the guess and check method on that because that's preferred, man. Well, preferred on this problem because you're like, yeah, all right, a 6 and and a one. Now that five needs to be in a different, same bubble as that six, because it doesn't multiply by the six. Guess and check is like magic. If it's your way, it's faster.
If it's not your way, use the AC method, please. So then that 5x goes there, and the 1x goes there. So then the signs are different, and the big product is positive. So what's bigger, 6 or 5? 6 is bigger, and then that's minus, all right? It's called the guess and check method, so let's check it. The inner product, boom, that's a minus 5x. The outer product, boom, that's a positive 6x. When I add them, I get x, which is what we had. Pox and flower. Then, down here, whoa. First rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. And then after that, factor out a common factor. We say shay, that she is in all day shay. So we pull out that shay shay. And then left over on the inside, I'm gonna have a 20b squared minus 13b minus 15. Church. Now, guessing and checking on that, sure, we could, but let's use the AC method to go back to where we started. We take the product of the leading and the lagging, so then that's a, a minus 300. Where did I get that? That's 20 times a minus 15. Now, let's check. Yeah. Fingerprints. Let's ID this example. So we're looking for the factors of 300 that subtract to be 13. If you see it right away, just go to that. Otherwise, break it down. That's 1 and 300. That's 2 and 150. That's 3 and 100. I go 3, 2, 100. Quick. Okay, and then I keep going. Can you? Yeah, you can see this. 4. Does 4 go in there? Sure. 4 and... Seventy-five. Um, do those subtract to be thirteen? No, you keep going. So this is five. Five goes in there sixty times. Sixty times. All right, that doesn't subtract to be thirteen. So we continue on. Six. Six goes in there. Six goes in there. Fifty times. Man, we just need to keep going. Huh, what goes in there? Fifteen and twenty subtract to be no too much, so it's less than fifteen. I'll just keep going. What about ten and thirty? That's not gonna work. Six, seven, seven doesn't go in there. Eight, eight doesn't go in there. Nine? Does nine go in there? Nine. Times three. Nine doesn't go in there. Ten? Ten. Ten does go in there. What about twelve? Will twelve go in there? Twelve will go in there. Let's see. Twelve. Three hundred. So 12, that's two, that's 24, that's six, zero, that's five. 25 minus 12, is that, yes! Boom, 20B squared minus 15, uh-huh. So, 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 that's 12 and 25. Can you still see that down there? Oh, that's gonna be close. So those do subtract to be 13. That says the signs are different and the big one's negative. So that's gonna be a minus 25B plus 12B. All right, and then I bring that C right on down front. Oh. So now I'm gonna factor each one of these by grouping. And I pull out a five. B, and inside we see that that's a 4B minus 5. 
did, 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 a positive three. So I pull that positive three and I have a four B minus five. Now that I got that four B minus five and that four B minus five, I can pull that out here. Four B minus five. Uh -huh. And then my leftovers here, a five B plus three. And then I bring down my C. C, and I put that C down there, and I've got fully factored form. Yeah. Uh. Woo! Box and flower. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>